In this video, I'd like to walk you through the process for adding a person or a profile to Google Chrome. At Calvary Day School, uh, all of our students have a Google account that's assigned to them by the school. And when they're signing into their Chrome devices, um, they have everything they need. Now, when they're at home, um, they may not have access to their Chromebook, or maybe their Chromebook uh, has needs to be charged. They need to access something uh, from their home computer. Or maybe you, as parents, just want to access uh, your student's account and kind of see what's going on, uh, have easy access to their on-campus account, uh, all of that. Um, the great news is you can use Google Chrome on any uh, home computer, whether it's a Mac or a PC, um, to access your student's account and get that same type of experience as they do uh, when they're on their Chromebook. So let me just real quickly show you how to do that. First of all, if you don't have Google Chrome installed on your home computer, uh, that'll be the first thing that you want to do. So from whatever browser you happen to be using, uh, you can go in. And if you just search for uh, Google Chrome, you will get a link uh, in there to download Google Chrome. Um, and so you just click on that link and that will take you to the download page and then you can download Chrome. You follow a few simple steps and within just a few minutes you'll be up and running in Google Chrome. Now once you get into Google Chrome, uh, you'll notice that up in the top you'll have a small circular picture. What you want to do um, is you want to, to click on that and you'll notice on my account here, I've got a lot of different um, people on my Chrome account. Each one of these is a different profile or different instance of Chrome. And so to add your student's account, what you would do is just simply go down to the bottom and click on Add, and then Add Person. And then you just type in your student's name. Now I always give mine um, a little bit of a description since I have a few listed. Uh, I might want to say here that this is his school profile. Um, you can also have it create a shortcut for that user on your desktop. Uh, I usually choose not to do that. And then just click Add you'll be presented with uh, a brand new uh, window. You'll notice down here at the bottom that I've got a new instance of Chrome that's actually running on my desktop. This was my original instance and now here's my new instance. Uh, this is an, under this new profile. Now what I want to do here is I want to, to sign into Chrome uh, as this user and so I'm going to go ahead and click on sign in and then I'm going to use my students Gmail account, Google account that was given to them by the school and I'm going to log in here. So for Cameron I'm going to just log in with C. Mulvey Hill at Calvary Day students.com and then your student's password. Uh, for those that have students in 6th through 12th grade, we allow those students to change their password. So they, uh, you'll have to get with your student and get their password um, so that you can log them in this way. Uh, for our pre-K through 5th grade students, just uh, send a message to your student's teacher um, and let them know and they should be able to get you that password. If your student doesn't already know it, there's a good chance that your student already knows that password from logging into their Chromebook. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with Cameron's password. Now what's going to happen is once I've logged in, it's going to ask me if I want to link the Chrome data that's associated with this account to my instance in Chrome here. And you want to go ahead and say yes, link that data. And what that's going to do is that's going to pull in all of the, the bookmarks and the extensions and the things that, um, that he gets when he gets on his school Chromebook. Um, you can go ahead and turn on the sync. And what that's going to do is it's going to sync all of those other um, pieces of information and as well as as he adds new bookmarks or does uh, adds new things on this instance of Chrome, it'll actually add those. And so when he gets back on his Chromebook, he'll have all of that in place as well. So I'm going to go ahead and hit yes, I'm in. 
and you'll notice that it changed uh, to the theme that he has set up on his Chromebook. Uh, all of his bookmarks are now there. So now this is the exact same experience that he has uh, when he logs into his school Chromebook, but this is on my home PC. And so you can do this same thing. Uh, now I have very easy access to his on-campus account just by going to the Calvary Day School uh, bookmark folder and then clicking on on-campus. That will actually take me right in. I don't even have to sign in to on campus. Um, it's an automatic sign in uh, authenticating on his Google account. And so once that pulls up, then I'm taken immediately to his assignments. And I can see his assignment center. I can see his classes. And so now I'm able to navigate on campus and see the information that he sees every day.